everyone, it's Erin here and welcome back to my channel or if you're a new viewer, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video which is a video that I honestly was not sure if it would be something that I'd be able to film because as you can read by the title, today's video is going to be all about how I wrote my dissertation in about a week and somehow managed to get a high T1 grade in it. So yeah, in today's video, I'm going to go through all of the steps that I did to finish my dissertation within seven days and like chuck in some top tips that I feel really helped me and really benefited my dissertation so that I can hopefully help any of you guys watching this video who have a dissertation coming up and perhaps haven't started it for whatever reason or if you're currently writing your dissertation and are just feeling a bit stressed out about the time pressures then hopefully you can take some tips from this video and apply it to your work. But yeah, all of that being said, I really just want to stress that I do not encourage writing your dissertation within a week or like a super short space of time. I know that a lot of unis are submitting in like April or May. If you do have that time then 100% just start doing your work now and do not rely on this video or these tips that I'm about to share as a way to do your dissertation in a week that is not what I'm hoping for I'm just kind of sharing what I did because a few of you guys have requested it over on my Instagram which if you're not following I'll put that in my description box down below so yeah that's what today's video is going to be about so I'm just going to round off this intro here but before I do if you are a new viewer and you're not already subscribed to my channel then definitely make sure to subscribe I upload new videos every single week and a ton of my content is about university to study tips and like the university experience in London so if you guys would like to see more videos like that then definitely make sure to subscribe and turn on your post notification bell but yeah without further ado let's just go ahead and jump straight into today's video on how I wrote my dissertation in one week and got a high T1 grade so for anyone who's new I'm a third year public relations and communication student at London College of Fashion and so just following from that a lot of people assume that my dissertation would be fashion orientated but at the School of Media and Communications at London College of Fashion it's actually compulsory for us to do cultural and historical studies so I've been studying that throughout the whole three years at uni and so our dissertation was also actually to do with cultural and historical studies so in my dissertation I personally chose to talk about the representation of blackness in the media in a nutshell my dissertation was exploring the media's representation of blackness and kind of dismantling the racial stereotypes and historical ideas about race that are like embedded in that <laughs> if that makes sense. So yeah, that's what my dissertation was all about. The word count for my dissertation was 7,000 words, which I know is a bit less than like the usual dissertation. But that being said, when I'd finished my first draft, I think I had about 11,000 words. So this video is definitely applicable if you have a word count of 10,000 or 12,000 because I did actually write about 11.7K words. So you can definitely get that done within a week. But yeah, that's kind of like a nutshell of my dissertation. So now going into the tips, which is what I'm sure most of you guys have clicked onto this video for. I've got them all written down in my notes and I'm gonna try and get through this video as fast as possible you thought sis okay so the first thing that i think is super important if you are planning to write your dissertation in a short space of time is choosing a topic that you are already familiar in or that you know you're going to do well in if you're watching this video as someone who hasn't started their dissertation yet and it's due very soon you need to kind of be very strategic with your approach on your dissertation and write about a topic that you know you're going to do well in you are kind of already familiar in if possible because it will make your readings and everything a lot easier so yeah i think that this this is definitely something which helped me the most and which is why I was able to knock out this dissertation in quite a short space of time. As I said, I've been studying cultural studies at university for the last three years and last year I did an essay about representation and I got a first class in that essay. So because I had done so much reading and was so familiar with the concept of representation, I decided that for my dissertation it would make the most sense for me to go with a topic that I was already familiar with, which is what I did. So if you've written about a topic that you know you're familiar with, with and you've academically done well in that before then I definitely encourage you to potentially explore going with a dissertation topic kind of surrounding that topic that being said do make sure that it is different or else a you will get bored and b you could potentially self plagiarize yourself which apparently is a real thing my tutor told me that someone did that like they literally plagiarized themselves by accident so yeah definitely try to look back and see if there's anything that you think you can kind of just develop for your dissertation um mind maps are a 
a great way of jotting down all of the ideas and comparing what you want to do just try to play out your strengths here the next thing that i did was then map out what methodologies that i wanted to use for the dissertation now there are literally so many different methodologies you can use for your dissertation i ended up going with visual analysis and discourse analysis so visual just meant that i was like analyzing the imageries which in this case were like news articles and then discourse analysis is also known as textual analysis and it was kind of like how i linked my dissertation back to the discourse of race and representation etc so those are the two methodologies that i use at my university we were strongly encouraged to do at least two so those are the two that i've gone with but there are literally so many other methodologies that you can use i strongly recommend going through all of them before writing or planning your dissertation to see what you think would suit you best i think choosing a methodology which suits you and your writing style and your learning style is something which can honestly like take your dissertation from zero to 100 because if you do something that works really well with you it can make writing your dissertation 10 times easier so for me i personally chose to do visual analysis because last year i studied visual culture and so very familiar with it the second methodology which i chose was discourse analysis which was just really relevant in the topic of my dissertation if you're stuck for your methodology and you still have tutorials with your tutor about your dissertation i strongly recommend asking them what they think um because it was definitely my tutor who kind of pointed me in that direction but as i said do your research and just make sure that you're choosing a methodology that will work for you another thing i wanted to mention in terms of methodology is if it's possible i would avoid using a methodology which requires you to do like first-hand primary research i.e focus groups or like interviewing if you have like a really short amount of time like how i did because getting answers from people interviewing people can be quite a tedious process and so if you are waiting to hear back from people it can seriously delay parts of writing your dissertation and obviously you don't want to be in a situation where you're not able to finish in time so um if your dissertation can use a methodology other than like focus groups or interviews and it would still be like relevant to what you're writing about then 100% go for that instead because whole like focus groups and interview things are great if you have time but if you're like super super short for time then I would potentially consider skipping it that's just my opinion so then linking on to this the next thing which I'm going to be talking about are the case studies which you're going to be using in a nutshell I think just making sure that your case study really supports whatever argument you're going to be making in your dissertation is so important I wanted to initially go into like the media's representation of Meghan Markle but because there are so many different things that can be said about the media's representation of Meghan whether or not it's because she's American whether or not it's because she was an actress like there were too many things which I felt that case study wouldn't have supported my argument strong enough whereas using Raheem Sterling as an example was such a stronger case study and would have helped support my dissertation and my argument stronger so yeah choosing case studies that really help to strengthen what it is you want to talk about is super important once you've established these key things it's time to go a bit deeper and just bullet point down every single thing that you want your dissertation to involve so using my dissertation for example um knowing that i wanted to investigate and examine misrepresentations of blackness in the media the next thing that i then did was bullet point down all of the different topics that would be relevant in that dissertation um and all of the different theories but it point down every single topic and theory that will be relevant to what you're writing about because this will then be the perfect base for all of your readings so moving on to your next step which are the readings oh. which oh i think this is probably the longest part of the whole dissertation process if you are doing something which refers to a lot of academic texts then this step is something that you need to pay a lot of attention to so i think what really helped me with my readings was making sure that i had it all very very clearly and neatly laid out i'm sure that a lot of you guys already know how to do your readings but i literally just write the book the author publisher publishing date etc and then i go through the relevant pages make the quotes put the page number certain things that i would do whilst doing my reading were bolding things that I felt would be really relevant later on down the line or that kind of summarized the ideas in my mind and then also things that I did was um, analyze things as I went along so if there was a quote that really stood out to me and I felt would be really beneficial in what I wanted to write about I would just analyze it and express my thoughts then and there when I referred to that quote at a later time I really had my analysis there and it would just be so much easier to build from so if you have any ideas come to your mind whilst you are doing your reading I strongly recommend writing them down as you go so that when you come to write your dissertation it just makes it 10 times easier with readings I always kind of did a bit extra so that everything was just kind of 
jotted down rather than me like halfway through making a point whilst writing be like oh I remember actually seeing something when I was doing that reading but I never wrote it down and then having to like go back to that book and find exactly what it is when you're talking about just try and get everything down so that you don't need to refer back to that book afterwards I also wanted to mention that I did all of my readings online using ebooks I just feel like going to the library and getting a book was just a bit long and obviously during dissertation season so many books were taken out already so finding all of my books online was definitely not an easy process I had to use some interesting websites but I managed to get I think like 95% of the books that I wanted online so I strongly encourage you using your online library resources I just find that it makes reading a lot easier and also you can utilize the control F function where if you want to find specific quotes about feminism or race or whatever it is that you're talking about you can literally just type that in and then like all of the relevant chapters will come up for you so yeah I think that using an e-library also helped with the whole process of doing this dissertation quite quickly so then once i'd finished doing all of my readings and i had like gained all of those different perspectives from the different scholars it kind of became clear to me what sort of argument i wanted to formulate i find that choosing like your specific dissertation title at the beginning can potentially hinder your dissertation which is why i never chose like my dissertation title at the very beginning i think just kind of really investigating the chosen areas is the best way to go about it because from doing your research and seeing what specifically appeals to you you'll know what argument you want to put forward so once you've done all of your readings and you've kind of figured out okay like i really think that that's an interesting area etc you can now start to plan your dissertation before planning your dissertation itself you want to understand what structure you want to use now my university provided us with some dissertation templates but i think there are like two main ones okay so i'm just jumping in because when i filmed this video i literally thought there are only two structures but there are honestly so so many so um the two main ones are like the traditional dissertation structure of like your introduction um theoretical framework which is like all of the theories and academics that you'll be consulting throughout your dissertation and then your methodology your case studies and then your conclusion that's the one that I specifically chose to do or you can do a thematic structure which is where you are um, kind of going with your theoretical framework and your case studies um, hand in hand so like each chapter has a case study if that makes sense but um, do your own research into the structure and see whichever one works for you just see what works best for what you want to talk about also what you're just most comfortable with Okay, so now you've got your structure, you've got your readings, you've got your topic. It's now time to properly start planning your essay. When you plan correctly, it's so easy for you to write. So when planning your essay, make sure you're putting a lot of effort into it and that you're being very detailed so that it is very clear when it comes to writing your essay, what you want to talk about. I also found writing my essay plan in very basic English helpful because it made it super easy to see what every paragraph and every chapter was about. Um, and then once I had got that written down, I would then write the actual dissertation itself using my proper vocabulary and like how I usually write. But yeah, I feel like writing in like basic plain English makes it super straightforward to see what exactly it is you're gonna be talking about. Your introduction is for sure one of the most important parts of your dissertation. It's set the tone it outlines exactly what you want to talk about and can just help age your dissertation so much if it's super clear just lays out really well what exactly your dissertation is going to be exploring so i'd say that spending quite a bit of time on your introduction is something which is worth doing because it is the first thing that they are essentially going to read yeah with your introduction um including quotes is also a great thing to do i remember my tutor said that they really enjoyed that and yeah just find a way to really summarize what you want to talk about in your dissertation so then moving on to the chapter section where you're obviously going to be advising the paragraphs on whatever it is you're going to be talking about in your dissertation. I think the best way to plan your dissertation in this regard is by putting a bullet point about what you want each paragraph to be about in that chapter. And then when you kind of outlined, okay, I want this to be about how race is a social construct. I want the second to be about how ideas about race formed. Once you've kind of outlined what you want each paragraph to be about, then you can refer to your readings document and start to like drag across the relevant quotes that help support what you want to discuss. You can literally just copy and paste, chuck it in there and just have all of the quotes that you want to talk about for each paragraph. And then once you've done that and you have all of the quotes you feel will help support your argument, you can kind of like close that reading page and you can just start to develop 
each point obviously as i've said as well if you've already done a bit of analysis in that reading file it will be quite clear how that quote will be relevant to your paragraph so just kind of go about it like that and i think by inputting your quotes first it's a great way of making sure that what you're saying is like actually supported as opposed to you writing your point first and then trying to find something that supports it like i feel like when you do it like that you can sometimes be reaching a bit more so yeah i think that kind of using that technique helped in making sure that my dissertation was well supported and that's something that I got in my feedback and then in terms of planning your methodology because I completely just skipped past it in the video you just want to make sure that you have some quotes and reasonings behind why you've chosen that methodology and just really try to justify it um, but yeah making sure that you have at least two quotes is always a good idea but your methodology is usually like the shortest part so don't stress too much about it just really justify why you've used the methodologies that you have and then once you've kind of done that with like all of your theoretical stuff it's time to go into your case studies which again is going to differ a lot depending on what dissertation you're writing and the structure that you're using but for me i was following a specific visual analysis methodology which helped make my case study analysis super easy because it was just like description contextualization and like interpretation and then obviously i would then put like my own analysis of everything and then i would link it back to the discourse of race because i did visual and discourse oh my god guys i really hope i'm making sense and right. then obviously with the conclusion it's equally as important as your introduction because it's how you finish the dissertation and it leaves an impression on whoever's marking your work so again you just want to be super clear in what you have concluded with your dissertation do not repeat yourself just make your conclusion interesting and really reflect on everything that you have found out from your dissertation um, and if you feel like your question has been answered obviously if you feel like it hasn't um, if you're going to do the the work in the future like what potentially you might have done differently you can also discuss any limitations that you felt from your dissertation yeah just try not to make it boring because as i said like it does leave a lasting impression on whoever's marking it and then yeah once you have your disso like properly planned out like that it's literally just a matter of changing those bullet points into actual sentences and then before you know it like your dissertation is done but yeah once it's all written out you can kind of gauge from your word count how done you are so if you are over which is hopefully the goal um, you can obviously then just refine and cut down um, and then if you are under you can be like okay well perhaps I can expand on this point a bit more perhaps I could write a bit more about that and hopefully go from there but yeah when you have eventually reached your word count or you're kind of near enough to your word count just be really brutal when going through your work and be like okay like this is me waffling this can go or like okay I don't feel like that point was made clear enough so I'm going to expand on that a bit more just be really really strict with refining your work and ensure that everything that you are inputting and will be submitting is actually of relevance and constantly refer back to your dissertation question I think that's something that really helped as well like at the end of each chapter or like subheading I would be like okay so like referring back to the dissertation question this answers this section of it so um yeah and then I always do my bibliography last so that's what I did because of how I structured my readings it was like really easy to see what book everything came from and I already put the page numbers there so um I just went on cite this for me which is a great website you should sponsor me cite this for me um and yeah just kind of got all of my references they also do it from A to Z so you don't need to worry about that like literally once you're done referencing you can copy paste it into your dissertation and you're done and then now it's just about however you want to organize it like presenting it and just doing those final read throughs before your hand in where you're like okay this sentence or this word can just be altered a bit and yeah it's just the finishing touches but the main bulk of your dissertation is done and yeah i think i think that is everything that i wanted to cover in this video is what i did to do my dissertation in such a short space of time like i said at the start of the video i do want to emphasize like this is just what i did as i said like if your dissertation is due in may or if it's due in april like just start it now you're gonna thank yourself so much for it later also i wanted to mention that i didn't have to print my dissertation um ours was just an online submission you know we're saving the planet out here obviously if yours is printed which i feel like most universities are then obviously give yourself enough time for printing as well so yeah 
I think that is everything. I'm trying to think if I have any more top tips for like the dissertation writing process. Oh, another thing that I found really helpful was actually reading other essays similar to what I was talking about, like essays published online, because that was a great way of seeing other potential areas to explore and like other angles which I could potentially consider. And also it was a great way of seeing the readings that they had consulted when doing their essay, because at the end it's obviously got their bibliography and it's a great way of finding books relevant to what you're writing about yeah okay so now i've mentioned that i think that i've actually covered everything that i wanted to in today's video so yeah that is how i finished my dissertation in a week and got a high c1 grade i really hope that you found this video helpful and i'm honestly wishing you all the very best in your dissertation if you have got this just continue to persevere don't compare your work or your progress to anyone else's because it's literally your own piece of work just continue to stay committed to it and yeah I think that that's everything guys. I'm literally exhausted from speaking. I'm like reliving all of the memories of dissertation. But yeah, I really hope you guys found this video helpful. Thank you so, so much for watching. And if you would like to see more videos from me and you're not already subscribed, then hit that subscribe button down below. And yeah, if you have any questions, please, please, please leave them down below in the comments and I will get back to you. Um, but yeah, I think I've been talking for 40 minutes now. So let me go and edit this video so that you guys can see this ASAP. Yeah, I'll see you guys all in my next videos. And thank you so much once again for watching. Bye.